Hey, it's me a boy Buell Lock the Imblock and Evoker. Thanks for watching my videos. I assume you're not subscribed cause about 79.8% of you guys are not subscribed. And if you want my Feel Hunter and Baby Tusker to eat this month, I suggest you do so. Take number two. <laughs> Sub YouTube, it's me, yeah boy, Pua Lock, the legend lock, legend, Imba Lock too. And this will be the guide how to kite the millies. Basically, we are not in game right now, but what you want to do is um, this, okay? So, let's go map by map, okay? Let's go Nagrand, Nagrand Arena, okay? This is Nagrand. Uh, kiting is not the, like, kiting, uh, I would say, is good. But it doesn't exist anymore because uh, every melee sits on you 99% of the time. They have three leaps, five charges, DH is flying around, DK has 100 grips, Rogue has 3000 shadow steps. Anyway, kiting is when you outrange uh, melees and they can touch you. Uh, kiting is not this, okay? Th that's you. And. One second. That's you, right? That's you and uh, that's the melee, right? Two of them, let's say. That's two of the melees. And this is not kiting. This is giving them free up time when you can't do anything. You are doing this, then you are doing wrong. If you do this, that means they hit you but you can't cast because you are running. Kiting is this. Kiting is like this. When, uh, let me, let me make it better. Like that. Let me actually make it. Kiting is this, right? These two milis are slowed. They try to get to you, but you are max ranging. That is kiting, not this one here. When they sit on you, and you still take the like, uh, you still take the damage. That's not kiting. So, how to survive double melees is a combination of uh, your kiting, which you can still do, but not too long. That's why you need to use it when enemy pops cooldowns okay because if you pop it too early you are pretty much dead uh so one kiting okay kite two healer he healer three another dps Peels. Peels. This three is very important, okay? In solo shuffles, don't expect much. They don't do any of that stuff. Basically, in a grand arena, your healer should be either here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Depends which side you start and how things go. Your portal usually is here or here. Then you put your gate like this or like that, right? Let's go from uh, this side. That's your gate. That's your portal. You want to go in middle. You want to go in middle and play here. You want basically you want to draw invisible line uh, for your portal range, which is 40 yards. You want to play around it because if you are dying, you can port back, you can port back, but your healer is waiting for you and you get healed. In solo shuffles and many, many times in threes and 2v2s too, uh, healers are in here. Which leads into this warrior stunning them, this DK silencing them, 
when they can't do that stuff if healer is here, right? If healer is here, max ranging and healing you, these two melees can't do anything to them. So surviving double melees is not dependent only on you. Plus, if you play three with trees, there is another DPS who will polymorph, sheep, uh, lasso, root them, slow them, grip them. I don't know. You get help from teammates, you help them too. So, so you want to do this basically. Position yourself that way that enemy is max range from your healer and you are in like spot, not like this because then your healer has to like come in open, but position yourself somewhere in middle or like open so your healer, your healer can heal you without any problem. And let's say you have mage in team, mage can also free cast on them, right? So that's the that's the three things you need to do. One, uh, play in uh, your range for portal, which is 40 yards. Draw a line, invisible line on every map. I'll, I'll show you guys on every map if I remember them. <clears throat> or you guys like, uh, I'm doing this live on stream. So chat can recommend the maps that they struggle on. And I'll tell you guys how to do what so that's the nagrand against melees uh if your healer is tunneled against melees uh healer should do this basically let's imagine this is healer right most healers do this right like they get trained and they they run around pillar instead of doing that they should they should do this. Go other side. Okay, look at this. Okay, that's your healer in middle. That's you and that's your mage or whoever you play with. If your healer is doing this uh, around pillar, you guys can't peel. You guys can't pull, you guys can't fear, you, you can't stun, you can't do damage. But if your healer does this, let's say go from here to here you guys can hit these two millis these two millis while they are in open right here same thing your healer reaches here goes other side and like that your healer it's not only you that like survives it's whole team like if they don't peel you they position bad uh, then you're gonna die of course and as i see like many people ask i'm in one six how do i survive three millis in shuffles you can't if your healer doesn't do any of this stuff if your healer is like next to you like this and gets getting uh, storm bolted kidney shot uh like uh, like kicked by dk then yeah you're gonna die dude and that's not you, that's actually healer and the second teammate that doesn't heal. But uh, again, Nagrand Arena is usually like this. That's your distance for a portal and that's your gate. Or if you want gate like that, like that. So you get close to pillar. That's for the Nagrand Arena. Uh, Blade Surge is kind of same. Blade Surge is like this. There is a bridge. You can go up there, stairs. There is stairs too. And like that. Like that. Okay. There is pillar. Another pillar. Another pillar. Another pillar. Okay. That's you. That's your melees. That's another melee. Okay. So your portal is usually goes here. Your gate goes here. So your portal range is like this now. So like this. 
right? Something like this. That that's too far though. That's too far. Uh, to be exact, something like this. At here on the stairs you can board. At here you can't anymore. Same goes here. Like the, this is too far, I think. So basically, every map you want to draw like a line where you can do this. Basically, uh, like you can kite around like this. You can jump down. They follow you down. You board back up. But most of the times, again, I hate to say it, but healers. When you jump down, they also jump down, then you port back and healer is down and they are like, You are lining me! Why? Well, don't, I mean, you should know that. I'm jumping down to port back so Millis can't hit me. Every map is same thing, guys. Like, you can't survive two Millis if your team doesn't peel you or you waste your cooldowns. You wanna port, you wanna gate when this guy pops avatar and this guy pops album limbs. You don't wanna wall, you don't wanna wall or pact. You can pact, yes, pack the short cooldown. You don't wanna wall on a avatar and album limbs when you can just port back behind pillar and they can't even touch you. If you wall, let's say this guy wall, uh, this guy uh, album limbs, right? Album limbs with like avatar and you pop your wall which is 25% now with talent 40 that's three minutes cooldown people be like I walled and I still died well yes it's two enemies and they pop everything and you only take 75% damage so it's still huge damage when you can legit just port back which is 30 seconds cooldown they jump at you gate away that it's so simple also your teammate will peel hopefully that's the blade surge basically uh against casters i don't like doing this uh on blade surge because uh, most of the time, caster against caster is like this. One is here, another is here, and another is here, and another is here. So Tuko with that Twitch Prime, thank you, I appreciate it. So caster against caster is eight. Thank you again, dude. Um, because this happens. So. You guys hitting this guy, if it's luck or whatever, doesn't matter. They dying, right? They are dying. Drop here, uh, port back. You are dying, you port back. And whoever's healer drinks more mana, that that team usually wins. Or let's say you face uh, Ellie. Ellie. Let's say Ellie uh, Affle. Ellie Affle, and you are uh, Frost, Frost Mage, Frost Destro, Frost Destro, okay? And let's say you, you both have Druid in as healer. You guys can't win like this because. Uh, these guys will just simply fall back. Dampening is on their side because they both hit all three of you. Uh, and you guys, I mean, you guys have uh, pure damage, which is like good too in dampening. But like, even if they full dot you in the crazy dampening and your healer is zoom, they can just chill back, not take any damage and you guys will still lose. So. For the, on this map especially, I like to push up here, somewhere here, our healer comes out somewhere here, so enemy can still reach, and these two are locked there, with the next to their healer. 
sometimes I even push up here and sometimes it's too much and I die. So basically against casters, it's different, but against melees, uh, mostly I get asked what to do against melees. You want to be max range from your healer and in open. So melees take damage from another DPS. You get healed without any LOS issues and it depends high on your healer. If your healer is here or here or here or here, it, basically if your healer is not 40 yards away, they are trolling and get a new healer. Even if it's your friend, do it. Just go back to LFG, find a healer that will chill. It will save lots of nerves and lots of like, oh, I'm bad at this game when it's actually your healer. You are not bad. You just don't get healed enough or like killed. But you are also bad if you don't use your port, your gate, your pact and your wall on enemy cooldowns. So I don't know what else to say because uh, the, this is same thing on every map. Let's say, uh, let's say the, uh, the, uh, Lord, Lord Iron or something. So that's the arena room. There is a pillar in here, uh, another arena room. Okay. You want to go, uh, here. Your second DPS goes here, if you play casters, and your healer is here. Uh, if melees go on this guy, look at this. <clears throat> the, this is kind of short range, but in, in real game, it's more like this. Uh, this second DPS can do damage for free, can go up here and CC enemy healer, and your healer is max range. So if any of them want to, let's say this is a red tree paladin and this guy wants to hold your healer, he has to go up here. Okay. Hold your healer five seconds, four seconds, okay. Five seconds before he gets back. Uh, this hodge is two seconds or three seconds already. So that's why it's important for your healer to be max range. So even if they get CC'd before this guy goes back, CC is already halfway done. Also, when they get hodged or whatever, you want to port back and kite a bit. You kite only on enemy cooldowns, big cooldowns, avatar, album limbs, wings, whatever. And when your healer is CC'd. So you wanna watch your healers, if they get CC'd, you wanna kite. Otherwise, this is not kiting. I, I will repeat, this is not kiting, right? This is not kiting. These guys still have uptime on you. They still hit you. But instead of casting something on them and doing counter pressure on them, you are taking free damage. And they are taking no pressure at all. So, kite on big cooldowns to do damage on uh, when they when they are just normally hitting you. Also, use amplify curse if you are demo after it doesn't matter. All three specs have it. Amplify curse with curse of weakness that disables the crit on every class. Uh, there are some classes that still crit with some like spells like Chaos Bolt still crits, but Incinerate, Conflagrate, Shadowburn doesn't crit. Uh, uh, Arcane Mages can't crit. Marksman Ship Hunter can't crit. Uh, Fire Mage can crit with Combustion, but be besides that, they can't crit. Um, Ellie Shamans can't crit with the uh, Earth shock. They can crit with lava burst because it's hundred percent when flame shock is on target. But without flame shock, I mean, uh, without uh, 
basically earth shock is what does damage and uh what's the elemental blast they can't crit with this and they usually do 100k to 200k damage uh shami i played with yesterday did 230k damage with elemental blast if he had amplify curse weakness he wouldn't do that much so yeah one second be right back Yeah, I'm back. Uh, so basically, that's that's pretty much it, dude. Every map, uh, remember, every map you wanna. That's your portal, right? What happened? Where is the thingy, dude? Status bar. Where is my painting thing, dude? Okay, every map you wanna uh, remember this that's your portal right 40 yards let's let's take that and that's your kiting basically good circle then like that you don't wanna go over here you, you wanna kite around this circle basically on every map there, there is like this map here the pillar another pillar i don't know the map name you put your uh, port here you want to kite around here but on this map against milis you want to play here you want to gate somewhere here uh maybe even here and you want to play in here because when you play here these two milis are on you and their healer is forced to come out here or even go here and like your second DPS can CC them easier. Basically, you wanna expose melees in open. So you get healed, good. Your teammate does damage and your healer is safe away from them. But yeah, again, I see many people say I'm bad, I'm stuck at 1.6, I don't know how to kite. But it's not only kiting, it's not only about you, it's about your teammate, your healer. Healer's positioning is crazy important. And most of the healers, even 3k XP players in solo shuffle, are doing this stuff. I don't know uh, what to say, but I'll show you something. This is, uh, this is healer from solo shuffle, uh, from the other day. And I'll show you guys right now. So look at this. Uh, my portal is way behind. My gate is here. I mean, I'm away from my portal, but look where my healer is. My healer is up here. Okay. I don't know why. Why is Shaman even up there too? Makes no sense. I got charged by a warrior. Warrior used his wall. I have no business of staying there and doing damage. I port back. I have mind games too. I port back. I'm safe. I'm kiting. I'm going back to my healer. Right? But my healer goes back now. So he's here. That's what I hate most. When healers do this. When I port back... My healer should be next to it. I played with Drainer yesterday in solo shuffle. He he was not leaving portal range. He was always there. That's what I'm saying. Go watch like I'm like go watch uh, Drainer. Go watch like Lontar. Watch CDU, Mini Poke. Like none of them do this stuff that other healers do. Like they push, they die, they get CC'd. I'm like go watch some high rated healers to learn the positioning but i understand maybe most of them don't even play with luck so they have no idea uh so 
Look, I'm forced to go back here because my healer went this way now when I came back here to kite him. That's what I hate. When you port back, you are in safe, you want to get healed, and your healer is in middle map, so it forces you to uh, like expose yourself to the enemy team again and take extra damage. This is what happened here. Okay, look now. My healer is stunned. I'm 25% uh, HP. Siphon is on me, and there is a warrior on me too. I'm rooted. I can't go anything. I can't do anything. Uh, what do I do? I port back. I use uh, Soul Burn and Cookie for more healing and more HP increase. I'm at 41% now, 200k HP. Look what my healer says. Stop running from me. No, you should be around here. I should be there. And when I'm dying, I port back, just like now. And as you guys saw, my healer was over there. I healed myself to 200k without taking any damage, without using my wall, without using my dark pact. I didn't have to. I had port already. I port. I'm full HP. No wall wasted, no dark pact wasted. I still have gate to use. My healer is flaming me. Which pissed me off, Dean. And I'm like, I have portal here. Why are you there, Dean? On stairs. So, basically, that was it. I don't know if this helps. But, uh, is portal way more often? It's a bigger cooldown than wall and uh, dark pact. Bigger defensive. Because when you port back, it's always behind wall. You don't take damage. With Dark Pact, you still take damage. With the wall, you still take damage. So, yeah. And your healers. Tell your healers to play around your portal. Because they don't... Uh, they don't even think about it. Anyway, that was for the guide. I don't know if, if it helps. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey Step Warlock you did it. You made it till the end. When this video will be published I will be streaming on Twitch. So feel free to check it out.